I'm Devani Monroe from isfabulous.com. With summer in full gear, it's hard to start thinking about fall. However, the fall fashion collections will already start shipping this month. And if you don't want to miss out on the best of the best, it's time to start shopping. Of course, one collection that we always look forward to is Byron Lars Beauty Mark. Chock full of innovative cuts and truly inspired mixing of fabrics and prints, the Fall 2014 collection is a must-have for the upcoming season. As usual, the gorgeous collection flatters a woman's figure no matter what shape or size. Sexy, flirty, and sophisticated would be the key words of this collection. Last March, we spent the day at the Byron Lars Beauty Mark Fall 2014 lookbook photo shoot to see what exciting things would be heading our way. So enjoy the video and start making your wish list now. Sasha Hartford is doing the hair for the Byron Lars Beauty Mark photo shoot for their lookbook for fall 2014. What kind of a look are you going for for the hair? It's like real. It's it's coiled curls, very tiny, but it's deconstructed a bit and it's very real and she has really cool hair. It's like blonde, strawberry blonde, so it is especially interesting and unique. But everything's gone deconstructed, so with his beautiful pieces, we have deconstruction with the hair, it all makes sense, it all comes together and makes everything kind of relaxed and real life. Kanisha Lachey, makeup artist for the Byron Lars Beauty Mark lookbook shoot for fall 2014. What is the look you're going for this season? Well, actually this year is uh, very similar to last year in the sense that we want women to just be themselves. We want them to be the best of them that they can be. So uh, a lot of things that, that are trending right now is BB creams and the CC creams. It just kind of lets the skin shine through naturally without too much fuss. So I'm really um, adoring that her skin is flawless already. So that's kind of what we're going with this year. Um, and you can see that I'm, I'm using just a very minimal amount and I'm just kind of applying it uh, to the center of her face and um, small strokes outward uh, to give her that even, even flawless skin. We are with model Sheila J, and she is one of the models for the Byron Lars Beauty Mark Fall 2014 lookbook photo shoot. You're looking gorgeous in the clothes. Can you tell me how you feel in them? I feel like a million bucks. <laughs> and is there anything in the collection that you particularly like? All of it. All of it? Yes. Which would you like to take home? Well, there is this one jacket that I really, really like for winter of next year. <laughs> ah, I think I know which one you're talking about. Yes. yes. And what about the one that you're wearing right now? And I'm really feeling this th this shirt right now, too. Like, the pair with a nice little blazer, you know, the shoes that I have on, yeah. We are with Gabrielle Canary, who is one of the models for the Byron Lars Beauty Mark Fall 2014 photo shoot lookbook. Can you tell me, you've done a lot of modeling, what are some of the most memorable experiences that you've had? Um, one of the most memorable experiences was I got to shoot an editorial for Seven Tribes magazine in Puerto Rico and it was one of the most inspiring, especially really opened my mind towards the industry and I feel like I found myself shooting the editorial there.
What in particular do you like about this collection? There's two pieces that I really love. Um, the window pane tweed dress, um, coat and then also the cotton python dress. And I love about his clothes is they're very form-fitting and they're very elegant but sexy so every woman will have class to her style. Byron Lars Beauty Mark Fall 2014 at the Lookbook photo shoot and another gorgeous collection. Thank you so much. So what was the inspiration or the motivation behind this collection? You know, this season was really about a continuation of the Impact Day dress yeah. and really um, getting to a more relaxed place. So we, we did that with like a lot of knitwear. So it continues to be about like textile mixing and pattern mixing just to like really make it tactile and interesting and just make you want to reach out and touch things. Besides the knits, what are the important fabrics in the collection? Well, besides the knits, there are more vegan leathers. Okay. There's another like a fancy way of saying pleather. Right. But they're really constructed differently this time. It's on a jer jersey base and it's 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 coated with a PVC but then washed. So there's kind of like a crackle finish on it and it just feels a lot softer and it's a lot more pliable this time than, than in previous seasons. Um, that's important. Of course, every stretch fabric imaginable. There's a really great, heavy, beefy cotton python pattern that I'm very excited about. That's like, you know, just has great texture, but it keeps everything in place. When we're talking about colors for this collection, what are the important fall colors? Now, the most important colors for me is no color at all. It's all neutral. Every shade from oyster to white and from gray to black with totes in between and different mixes of those. But um, when there is real true color, um, there's teals and turks, navies, um, some persimmon. You know, things like that, that are just just really warm. And I noticed perhaps a very deep, almost burgundy, but brightish. Yeah, that, that's pretty typical. Whenever there's color in a fall collection, typically from Beauty Mark, there's always some sort of plum, burgundy, Bordeaux. Chianti. Chianti, that's a, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> that, that is a beautiful way to put that color. It's all drunken colors, yes. <laughs> we love drunken colors. Yes. And for the silhouettes for this season? You know, I typically like to mix it up. There's usually fit and flare and, you know, hourglass and everything in between, but it's mostly about hourglass. When I really look at the mix this season, it's really about like something close to the body and structured because honestly, it's really, it's really popular for us. That's what our girl seems to want from us. But more importantly, I think it just, that's what the fabrics dictated that they should be for the most part. But there are still some fit and flare things that like move and are flirty and girly and for lack of a better term, princessy. Yes, okay. But it's like, you know, a princess with, with a job, things to do. I'm always impressed in looking for the different techniques that you've used in your collections. Was there anything that was new technique-wise in this one? You know, there was a continuation of like laser cutting, which is popular uh, popular everywhere now. But 
You know, I keep finding new and interesting ways to to do it. Like engineering it out seems to be the most exciting thing for me. Like we've been doing all over patterns with it that like is probably more typical in every conceivable pattern that I could come up with. But lately there's um like almost laser fringe that has a membrane at the top and bottom so there's like almost like prison bars okay over sheer i think that that feels really new to me but it's it's tricky getting it thick enough that it's not too fragile but still narrow enough that it, it's delicate Is there a piece in the collection that was a favorite for you to work on? There is a favorite because it kind of um, informed a lot of the other knitwear pieces. And that would be this ivory knit dress that, again, I mean, speaks to so much of what we do here at Beauty Mark, fabric and pattern mixing. But I think what intrigues me most about this is the, the degrees of opacity and sheerness. And particularly, like, there's a really structured net power net here that this lace is layered over so when you see it on a person like you can get a silhouette of their leg over there you know like from far away that like makes you almost think like it's maybe inappropriately sheer but then there's always you know this more opaque liner that scallops that kind of obscures where it begins and where the sheerness ends and I think that really that really um floats my boat for the season. Well, it is a gorgeous piece. Oh, thank you so much. Um, yeah, it's gorgeous to me, but it's subtly gorgeous. I, and I think that's what I like about it most. It's like, it, I think it can work on a lot of different types of girls out there. As can most of all of your clothing. Oh, well, thanks. Beautiful collection. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you.